Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize a folder between two computers so that you can work at home or you can work at the office or at home and on a laptop. Bonus! They're backed up to each other. So it's a great backup method right here on Scott Parker's Tech Tips. I use a program called GoodSync. There's a link in the description below. I've been using the program for a number of years. Here on my screen I have a column on the left and a column on the right. If you've seen my video on doing backups. This is what this screen is where I left off. I'm going to create a new job and on the left side I'm going to have this computer that I'm working on and on the right side I'm going to have my laptop which is a Mac and I'm working in Windows right now. So a new job. I'm going to uh, sync a, a folder called USITT uh, from uh, Windows to Ma uh, MacBook Pro and I'm going to click on synchronize so that it goes both ways. Click OK. Now see here in the middle I have arrows and they go both directions. On the left side I'm going to go to my computer and to my documents which is on my D drive. Go down to documents and I'm going to find this USITT right there and I'm going to then go to the right side and instead of clicking on my computer local because it's not I'm gonna to have to go find my laptop so the laptop is registered under my GoodSync Connect account so I go under my account and you'll see that I have um, well that's my wife's work computer and this is my wife's uh, MacBook Pro for work there's my iMac which is sitting downstairs in my living room. Here's the MacBook Pro and this is this computer here. So I'm going to click on the MacBook Pro. It's connecting to it. And I go down to my users and my name. Go down to documents and and we have an error. Cannot open folder right here. So now we need to switch to the Mac for a minute. So we're now over here on the Mac. Forgive me, it's sitting on my desk over here. So what I need to do is give GoodSync permission to write to the disk. So I'm going to go to Security, oh, GoodSync Server, under Full Disk Access. There you go, see? GoodSync Server there, there. Great, so now, back to... Now that error has gone away, and I don't have a USITT file yet, so I'm going to right click, new folder, USITT, create. Okay, it just created the folder. There we go. And I click apply. Click on analyze. And now you'll see that I have all the files on the left side, but not on the right yet. So let's go over here and bring in my finder. You'll see it's created it here, but there's nothing in the folder yet. Now if I click on sync, it's going to start sending it over. And you'll see that it's populating on the Mac side. It says it's going to take 45 more seconds. So now it's coming over here, from here to there. Terrific. So now that's done that. So let's go over to the Mac. And we'll take this file here, and I'll just make a copy of it. I'll duplicate it. There we go. There's just a copy. Let's go back to the Windows machine and click Analyze again. And now it says there's a new file on the Mac side right here on the right side, and it needs to copy it back. So if I were away and I were doing work on the Mac, the next time Sync uh, ran, Good Sync ran, it would find that this file is new, and I would sync it. Now I can automate this process. I'm going to go to Auto. I'm going to ask this to make on file change, delay of 9 seconds. I'll do a save. Let's open this file and we'll make a change. Test change. Okay, I'll hit Control S to save it. I'll close it. And let's see what happens here. Waiting out the delay down here. 
it's analyzing it and it just sent it over and let's see when it was modified over here on the Mac side it was modified today and there it has the words test change so this is automatically checking for updates and sends it over this is a fantastic way of keeping two computers synchronized together um, no matter where you are and if I leave good sync running on the Windows machine it will constantly poll it to see if it's working let's open it on the Mac side from Mac save it and quit that okay it just detected a file change on the Mac side and now it's bringing it back in my next video I want to show you how you can use both machines to backups independently which gives you the four times the confidence that you're not going to lose any files thanks for watching Scott Parker's Tech Tips <laughs>